a better idea of when construction on I-16 and I-95 could be finished. Uh, this project has taken, as you know, years to complete. The construction really has caused massive traffic headaches for so many people, including probably you. WJCL 22 News, Libby Wild joining us live now. And you've learned that the timeline has been pushed back. Greg, you said it right. This has been going on for several years. It actually dates back to 2020 pandemic era times. And we're learning tonight. Officials were hoping it would be done this year, but that's not going to be the case. We know it's frustrating for folks. The I-16 and I-95 construction project kicked off in 2020. Now in 24, the completion date has been pushed back in part due to pandemic related issues. With challenges in construction that a lot of major jobs face, um, unfortunately that date has continued to shift, but we're being as good of a partner as we can. So far, GDOT has finished and opened both turbine ramps this spring. They're finalizing work on the I-16 eastbound to I-95 northbound ramp and I-95 northbound ramp to I-16 westbound. The new I-95 southbound bridge over I-16 demo has been completed and the new structure is under progress. You know, it's a massive investment and it's a $320 million just on the construction end. When it comes to questions about why the new lights on I-16 have not been turned on yet, Colin says it's up to the contractor. There's nothing written in there that says they have to, you know, if there's 50 lights up now, go ahead and turn those on. The plan is when everything's finalized, we're in final alignment to activate those lights. Now, next month, something to note, the I-16 eastbound will shift over to that Tremont Bridge that is being finished up right now, so that will be completed hopefully next month. But as officials say, spring of 2025 right now, Greg. Certainly good news to report for TDOT, but there's going to be a lot of drivers certainly going to be frustrated. Living Wild, thanks so very much for that report.